everyone, it's Doodling Bible here and welcome to the very last week of our David series. Wow, I can't believe this series is nearly at an end, but um, I've thoroughly enjoyed doing these studies and I hope you enjoyed too. Um, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and join with us. I'll also be linking all the previous week's videos uh, down on the description bar below and also this week's brand new printable. So go ahead, check it out and let's get on with this week's entry. So this week we're going to be concentrating on David as a friend and really when we think of David as a friend we think of David and Jonathan and this is the passage we're going to be studying uh, today. So today I'll be journaling in 1 Samuel chapter 20 and uh, the verse that I've highlighted is verse 4 which says Jonathan said to David whatever you want me to do I'll do for you so on the subject of friendship if you were asked how many friends you have what would be your answer so some of us would think oh, okay I have lots of friends uh, Facebook friends or I have lots of followers on Instagram or um, some of us um, might think okay I've got a handful of friends and some of us might even think okay I've got a very few selected friends that are considered my true good friends but really it all comes down and boils down to how we define friendship or how we define a friend so the English dictionary actually says uh, a friend is a person with whom one has a bond or mutual affection. So on David and Jonathan's case, they definitely had mutual affection between the two. They were really good friends. They became really good friends and their friendship was really meaningful. They both cared deeply for each other and um, their friendship had everything to just go wrong. They, they were friends in the good times, but they were also friends in the bad times. And the ba when the bad times came, they were very difficult. Um, David started off as uh, working for uh, Jonathan's dad, Saul, and everything was going well, but obviously um, Saul started to get jealous of David and they clashed. In that occasion, Jonathan could have, um, he could have just left David, he could have just stopped being friends with him, but he carried on, he just carried on being his friend. And also, David was anointed to be the next king, which meant that David, in a way, would steal Jonathan's dad's throne. I mean, that would be enough to just, you know, make the friendship end. But that didn't phase Jonathan. He still carried on being David's friend. So this story teaches us um, a lot about a meaningful friendship, but it also, more importantly, actually points us to the gospel. So Jonathan was a good friend to David, like Jesus is a good friend to us. So Jonathan was the son who set aside his father's wrath to intercede for his friend on behalf of his friend. And this is what Jesus did to us. Not only he, he came to this earth for us, he died for us, for our sins to be forgiven. And Jesus is our best friend. He is the best friend we could ask for. On this earth, sometimes we think we have really good friends or sometimes we um, get disappointed by our friends or sometimes we ask too much of our friends. But we can never ask too much of Jesus. He has given us everything. He has given us his life. And the more we spend time with Jesus, the more we deepen our relationship with him, the more we realize he will never let us down, that he will never forsake us. He will always be a true friend. And so I encourage you to just strengthen your relationship with Jesus because that is the best relationship you can invest your time in. And actually, the more you spend time with Jesus, the more you will notice that God is blessing you with really good friends around you. They'll make you feel loved and surrounded and respected. So today I kept it relatively simple. I just used the right hand side tip in that I created for uh, my printable and also the friendship goals writing uh, in the middle of the page. And I decided to assemble it all together and create this nice tip in with some love hearts and some washi tape around. And also I've written my um, journaling notes underneath the tip in and just added some background and kept it really simple. So that's it for today. This is the very last video of the series. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed the series. It would be lovely to hear your comments. If you have any testimonies, anything to share or just any comments, feel free to use the comment section below. It's so nice 
to hear from you guys and hear what you guys are thinking. And also, if you get to use our printables, uh, you can tag us on Instagram at Doodling Bible and on Filter Faith. And we love seeing what you guys do with our printables. It's so encouraging. It's really, really lovely. Also, if there's a particular topic you would like us to do a series on or maybe a technique you'd like to see, feel free to, to ask. We, we love hearing from you guys and it will be lovely to have your input. So I just want to pray for you guys. Uh, Lord, I just pray that we will know you are our best friend. Lord, show us how much you care for us and how much you did for us on that cross. Lord, I just pray that you will be our best friend, Lord, and that we, we will know you will never let us down. So Lord, I just pray everyone on their weekends, Lord, that they will deepen their relationship with you, and that they will know you are there at all times for them. In Jesus' name, amen. So uh, it was lovely having you here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And um, I'll see you next week. God bless. Bye-bye.